All right, Pistons fans, so in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down and give you guys the reasons why we traded Mason Plumley. Now, the main reason why I'm doing this is because I was looking in the comment section under the Pistons post after we did this deal and a bunch of people were talking about, why would we trade Mason Plumley for nothing? This was a waste of a deal. This was a waste of a signing. Why would we ever sign Mason Plumley just to trade him for nothing? We don't have a center now. What are we doing? Why would we trade Mason Plumley? So look, let me break it down for y'all, man. So we traded Mason Plumley in the 37th overall pick which turned out to be JT Thor, which really irritated me. I really wanted the Pistons to pick him up, but it ended up being JT Thor for the 57th pick, which turned out to be Balsa. All right, so let me break this down for y'all. The reason why we traded Mason Plumlee is for multiple reasons. First and foremost, let's talk about his play. Mason Plumlee, this season on the Pistons, had a disappointing year, in my opinion. When we first signed Plumlee, I was all for it. I was like, oh yeah, Plumlee, he's about to come here. He's gonna be just like how he was on the Nuggets. But when he came here, in my personal opinion, he was really, really bad on defense. And I'm not just talking about rim protection. I'm talking about pick and roll situations. He can't guard any point guards just because he's too slow and he doesn't have defensive positioning. He doesn't know how to get down there and guard any point guards he just can't do that so he was terrible on defense from us inside the paint and on the perimeter Mason Plumlee was terrible on defense and on offense it's not like he added much value to us this season his playmaking which was a big plus for when we signed him actually went down this season so overall Mason Plumlee had a disappointing year so that's the first reason why we traded him and then the second reason why we traded him is because of the money man Mason Plumlee is getting paid eight million dollars per year and for the totality of his contract he was going to get paid 24 million dollars per year and we traded him so now that money is freed up we can now sign someone in free agency if they want to sign JaVale McGee go out there and sign JaVale McGee if they want to go sign Nerlens Noel go sign Nerlens Noel and this also opens up money for us to keep Hamidou Diallo and keeping Frank Jackson if a team offers Hamidou Diallo 10 million dollars guess what we just got Mason Plumlee's money off the book so now we can afford to pay Hamidou Diallo and Frank Jackson we could keep both of those guys and we could go after someone like New Orleans Noel and free agency if we want to so the money factor is another reason why I feel like we did this deal we free a lot of cap space up with trading Mason Plumlee and then the last point that I wanted to mention is that we traded Mason Plumlee to give minutes and opportunity to Isaiah Stewart now Stewart is going to be coming into the starting center role he's going to be the main center for us and I absolutely love it man so this must mean that in the offseason Isaiah Stewart must have been training super super hard and he must be ready to be the starter for Troy Weaver to you know pull the trigger and make this move so if Isaiah Stewart is ready to be the starting center and they don't want Mason Plumlee to be the backup getting paid a lot of money and just not being a good player they decide to ship him out it is what it is man i don't understand how anyone could be mad with this deal man we ended up getting another prospect out of this at 57 and we got to free up a lot of money so that we can keep having duty yellow we can keep frank jackson and we can sign someone else in free agency this trade was an absolute steal for me in my opinion this was a perfect trade troy weaver again showing off his gm skills man i absolutely love troy weaver when i was first like i was first sitting around just waiting for the nba draft to come on and then i look at the notification on my phone it said the pistons trade mason plum I was like, how did this happen? Because I was not expecting anybody to trade for Mason Plumlee, a dude in his a center in his 30s who coming off of a disappointing year and he has a contract where he's a bit overpaid. I did not expect anybody to be wanting to trade for Mason Plumlee, but the Hornets, they took this deal. It helps out them with LaMelo Ball and all of the other young prospects, the Miles Bridges of the world. It helps out the Hornets and their quest to make it to the playoffs next year. So good for them, I guess. But for the Pistons, this was an absolute steal for us, man. This trade was perfect for us. We really just expanded on what we built last year, getting rid of Mason Plumlee. And I absolutely love it, man. So Pistons fans, let me know any and all thoughts in the comment section below. In my personal opinion, this was a win for us. This was a big trade for us. We finally got rid of Mason Plumlee. We're going to get more minutes to Isaiah Stewart. We can sign someone in free agency and we can re-sign Hamadou Diallo and Frank Jackson. So in my opinion, man, this trade was perfect for us. So let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank you all for 2K and I'm out.